Welcome, one and all, to the mystical world of Felbar. Adventures abound throughout this realm, and we appreciate the opportunity to regale you with some stories from these trails. These accounts are all based on actual RPG experiences that occurred within Adventures in Felbar. Some of these tales may be for mature audiences, while others may be for very immature audiences. We now present the sage Mikas Tumo from Tamel, also known as the Bard of Felbar. Welcome to the Denali prequel. Hello, and welcome to the Bard's podcast. This foray into the digital storytelling realm takes us to a collection of islands in the Vortukian Sea. As the party crosses the treacherous waters, they leave behind burgeoning careers on the mainland and seek further adventure to the south in a group of island city-states. The group is currently on a rented vessel and are nearly one of the larger islands called Denali. The party currently consists of Harris, a mage, skilled in the magical arts. As a half-elf, he has seen his share of discrimination, but not among his associates. He has a keen intellect and a calm demeanor. He is considered a spokesman for the group due to his ability to speak several languages as well as to use his magic to translate foreign languages. Sir Omel, a holy warrior, hails from the Republic of Skelos. He is an unusually large human male with armor covering most of his bulging muscles. Omel is a knight of Barkas and a paladin. He is well trained and well disciplined but can be a very dangerous opponent when a fight starts. He also has the ability to heal wounds to a lesser extent. A monk from the Verte Order, near Sapopolis, is named Brother Stance. A quiet thinker, his wisdom has saved the group in the past. His martial art skills also make him a good man to be near in a fight. His hand-eye coordination allows him to perform difficult fighting styles and to help him quickly engage opponents, even from a distance. The final, and shortest member of the group, is Phidias, a gnome rogue from Portlandia. His nimble fingers allow him to pick locks and pockets with an ease that can sometimes bother his colleagues from time to time. Phidias's short stature allows him to blend into his surroundings with relative ease. His only drawback is his coarse language and antagonistic nature, which has landed the group into more than one fight. Despite his squat frame, the rogue never hesitates to jump into a fray and help his cohorts out. He is adept in both finding and setting traps. His penchant for alcohol does tend to bring out the worst in his nature. This group met while wandering through the kingdom of Neville when it was in peril of falling to the forces of the Triad, a group of rebels that sought to overthrow the rightful heir to the throne. After helping save the monarchy, they found themselves to be both famous and infamous at the same time. Several assassins from the Triad's remaining members have made them a target and were able to pick off the group's half-orc Claire Grudella, as well as their halfling illusionist Lady Tora. With their deaths came other collateral damage to the populace. The group had since decided that it was better for the nation if they left the area. The group met Captain Talus Morfever in Cortland on the southern coast. They paid for a voyage on his ship, and their journey has been mildly eventful with several encounters of marrow or aquatic ogres. A group of pirates were outrun by the skilled ability of Captain Morfever. Our podcast will begin as the group finds the inlet leading to Saydown City in the Denali Monarchy. We close out this episode now and give you our thanks for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at The Bards Podcast. For everyone in Adventures of Philbar, thanks for listening.